Hey guys, Mr. Dragon Triple Zero here, back with PCBS, the esports expansion, which is probably my last PCBS video of all time. And this is our final week here of the esports expansion, so we got a few computers here from our girl Zenith, which we need a brand new computer for her to build from the ground up. Another one from Dream to pimp out the computer with a 3D benchmark score of 12,000 or higher, and Rocket Socks. I did it! Let's get this tin can turned around. So she's a diagnosed, replaced the PSU, completed in two days. So right now, let's pimp out, I think this is Dream's computer, right? So yes, this is Dream's computer, so let's place her computer right here. We got this here, okay, hey. What type of case is this? The Tristellar SW by GamerStorm. That is an interesting ass case. <laughs> And this one by Zenith is to build a computer. Let's put hers right here. We'll deal about this a little bit later. All right, top panel. Is this how I get into the drive bay? Okay, drive bay. I think I got something behind me, like, uh, give her a gigabyte. It doesn't fit, goddammit. For Dream's pimped out computer, even though I got a lot of parts by my back, so we're gonna get a mini ITX motherboard, the ASRock Z390M, and a Seagate Barracuda 1 terabyte HDD, which will cost us $240. It gotta be completed for two days, so next day delivery, bring our total down to $44,760. On to Zenith, this is where you have to build everything from the ground up, which I don't have a case behind my back, so this is gonna take a while for me to find a case and build everything for her. All right, for Zenith's computer, we got a good list of here of the regular shop from the Antec case, another ES Rock, a data memory, a Gigabyte M2 memory, Cooler Master Power Supply, four LED RGB case fans, and an AMD Ryzen 7 8 core processor to go along with this here motherboard. This costs $1,365, gotta be completed in four days, so drop this total down to $43,395 for the water cooling shop because she needs water cooling for everything. For the GPU, reservoir, and radiator, we need a complete loop out of this one, even though I got a reservoir or what is it, CPU block behind my back. While we're at it, we'll just buy another one, so bring the total down to $11,465. This is quite a lot. And this one replaced the power supply, so an ST-10,000 or ST-1,000. So drop total down even further to 41,230, and I think that is it. So head out the door to start our Tuesday off. And here are the parts, Bobo HD, Bobo, Ram, Ram, all this good stuff here. Put that behind our backs and see what this email is all about. We got, bye-bye. See you later. Oh god, 1700, 3 benchmark score, strike back go, sped more than 6k, what up, beat? Bye bye again, Saturday, that hurt concert, what? Get your PC by Wednesday, get some practice before the last game, because this is the strike back go finals, and another one, Corsair SSD, and power supply, I give it 100%. Okay, she sees me on this one. Rocket socks. Jerk. So mad. Zenith. A hypnotist. Give me a second GPU and I'll wipe them off the floor of them this weekend. So you're the sunglasses. So let's just match our emojis. There we go. So this is the easy one. So replace the GPU or the, the, the power supply. And that'll be it with this computer. And holy god, I can put my hand through here, man. So power supply, you got red cables. Do I have red cables? Yes, I do. So red and just start removing every cable here and get rid of the power supply and replace the power supply. And then we'll be done with her computer. All right, get a PC boot. So hit the P button. You got the gigabyte little boot screen and get ready to rip the cables out. Go. Nice reaction time. I did it. Collect the money. 455. Not too bad. Now let's try to get Dream's computer involved. So motherboard. We got the mini ITX. How will this fit on here? This is a very, very interesting right over here. So that is small, man. And it's going to be an interesting one. Find a good one. Probably this guy 5700 is probably going to be a weak GPU. So how are we going to fit this right here? Okay, this is very, very interesting. I'd never seen this case before in my life, and I'm working on this for the first time ever. And is there an M2 slot in here? Which is, it's a small guy, so... Uh, yeah, you can. You can fit an M2. There you go. But I think the M2 is for somebody else, so we're gonna give her an HDD. So you get your boy Seagate involved, so boom, boom, done. Memory was the data memory. So this guy goes here, and this guy goes right here too. 
And this is an i7 processor, an i7-8700K, so do that, close the shield, and put the thermal paste on like that, and bring out the small, small core like this guy, our boy Arctic. And I think we're all good, so get ready to boot this up now. Yep, here we go, we got the fan going, fan going, AS Rock in the house. No OS found, so we have to slap in a USB drive for the final time in this series, which I think this might be the final time. So bring out the USB drive, we use the regular one, and slap it in the back. So get ready to slam my USB drive in at 100 miles an hour if I'll break in the microphone here. In 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, we're all good. It's pretty much tradition doing it every time in a video. Do it once in every video of PCBS. So redo everything and get ready to install the OS. So we got formatting, core libraries are being installed, the drivers, anything else, marketing IDs, right in the boot sector, and booting. So here we go. Boot screen. There you go. So start things off with Strike Back Go, and not too bad for a solid state, or a, oh, it's a hard disk drive, not a solid state drive. So bring out, where is 3D Benchmark? So 3D Benchmark, 3D Mark Advanced Edition, aka 3D Benchmark scores, because we gotta get 12,000 or above. So this is the only two we need to have installed, so restart and do the benchmarking. If this fails, then bring out a pipped out AMD graphics card, an i9 something. So run a test. So while we're at it, let's get the computer case or the empty one and start working on, I think Xenus computer, yeah, work on Xenus build while that goes in the background. And this is where she needs partial water cooling here, an AIO. So bring out the motherboard, which is the 450. And we need white cables. So white cables for her. Power supply is, I think, a 6 or a 750, 750. And start things off with a pimped out 8 core 4100 AMD Ryzen 7. Open her up and go. And I'll do the rest of the computer right then and there. Does it fit? No. So apparently the radiator doesn't fare the reservoir. So we got to find another part online and hopefully get that settled. Radiator will go somewhere. We'll get the dust filter first. And front panel. And go. Thank you. With the CPU block on top of here. And find a radiator that somehow fits like put it on top. Got to be a miniature one. Something? So, 3 benchmark score, we got a lot of work to do. We got an i9 this bitch, like, right today. Put an RTX in here or something. Let's just try out the 3080 RTX Asus, same day delivery. Dang dong. Try this out. Because I did some measurements on here, it has to be less than 320 millimeters. It's like a 290-something, like 295 or whatever. 299, so 320 watts of power. We got a 550. This is going to be kind of concerning and white ass cables. All right, moment of truth. Run a 3D benchmark score again, and hopefully, and swear to God, this doesn't crash when we get to the graphics card stage of the testing here. So the processor is at 26 FPS, and slightly counting. The graphics are concerning because we are, like, really close to probably overloading and then blue screening the computer because in real life, I have a 525-watt power supply with a 1070 graphics card and a Xenon W3690. So graphics wise doing okay at a 95 96 we should be good to go if this tiny reservoir doesn't work zenith i don't know what else so it was score we got a 13 3 7 6 so that is plenty enough so just slap all these on and then get one more right here and all green so ready to boot so rip the cables out and place it on the bottom to know that we are done and ready to go so we get rocket socks there's bye bye's computer ready to be built for tomorrow so we need dual graphics cards for rocket socks here gotta complete up in three days water cooled all that good stuff they're both 1700s for the graphics or the uh, 3d benchmark score and here ssds all that good stuff they both have to be sponsored by corsair which i double check the email right here it's alive almost more bad stuff god dang it girl replace the psu yet again found a computer in a dumpster but everything is live part of it do that next day so psu ssd corsair start off with bye bye and then rock 
All right, for Bye Bye's luxury build, it has to be over $6,000. This cost us almost $7,000, and we're bringing out the big boys, the AMD Ryzen Threadripper 3970X. This is the STR4 socket, $850 motherboard, $1,300 RTX 2080s. We're going to put two of them in an SLI format. On top of that will be a 1,000 watt Corsair power supply. And also, these are both Corsair, which she needs. And it's got to be completed by tomorrow, so drop the total down to $32,770. Sheesh, that was quite a while just to think of that in the back of my mind. And for Rocket Socks, we'll get hers on the line. For the water cooling, 3030, drop it down, 29740. And for the regular shop, this will cost us $1,438, drop down to 28302. So it's alive, is in transit. Replace the Mobo PSU. So Mobo is a Z390 Phantom Gaming 4 and the 550B Silverstone. Cost 225, 28, 77 dollars. So I think we're all good to go. So get on ready to start our Wednesday. Oh my God! Off. Oh, look at all that just <laughs> on the right side of my screen. And here are the load of parts for everybody on here. Collect that. Check the emails. What's up? Whoa! You'll be famous. So we need a Ballistics Quartz Pink mouse for every computer core team. RAM Air CPU, um, can you please Zenith by bye blue cable? A blue, red, yellow, green. Uh, you're the eyes, so I see you. She sees me too. What do I have behind my back? Blue, yes, yellow, um, no, red, yes, green. So we need yellow cables for her, god dang it. Right when I'm going in the shop here, we got more buzzing. Let's get the plain plastic cables for $100. Next day, do that. So, who are you? Zine Dream. Been very productive. 14 songs yesterday. Damn, you're busting out tracks like Eminem. 12 songs, musical haiku, and hour-long bongo solo. Damn, put that on your sound card. You're gonna be a major hit. You're gonna have a record deal real soon. So, rainbow lighting, peace and love related wallpaper. Zenith. Water-cooled G and CPU. Okay, you're this smiley, right? Yes, I'm right. Dream. She's the Roaring Kitty. So, kind of strange. Kono. Pink and yellow RGB lighting. What's up? She's got the three dots. OMG! Thank goodness I didn't even reply yet. So, a pineapple something related wallpaper. Rar. Mew. So, more stuff for these girls. God dang it. So, moment of truth. Where do I find the... Okay, custom water cooling. Oh, nice. Finally. But, fish where? In the back where the fan exists. Oh, man. So, we're taking over the fan here for the reservoir. So, piping. This is going to be a little bit complicated, but I'm not super duper McCooper complicated. So, here to here. Here to there. And here to up top. Here, see if it intersects to here. We're all good, so put in the coolant. Let's do, uh, let's do black. Black coolant is what we're putting in, so holy warpy, so oh, is this the coolant filling up or something? So we got green there for the water cooling for the GPU and CPU for Zenith. White cables, looks like we're okay on that, right? I mean, this is a modular power supply and everything, and this is the standard issue cable, so nothing can do about that. So, we're, looks like we're all good to go. And while we're at it, add another RGB fan. Let's get this guy, a Corsair, put it right there. Can I put some, like, on the top level? Yes, I can. Let's put two in the top level, so we got, hold on, we got one, two? Let me get everything in check so I can get everything unplugged, put some RGB fans, and satisfy this demand. But I'll do that a little later. So we got the computer Jesus up in here. I think this is the one that's expensive. So resell was like a hundred something dollars. This appears to be the Maserati build for her so she could stay with the team. I think it's what that was. So yeah, five hundred dollars. So this is the big boy case. No boot device. We forgot the SSD. Dang it. So gigabyte. Can I fit an M2 here? Oh crap, we gotta drain the coolant just for this. And get rid of this for, really? All this just to get some room going? That's stupid. And redo the piping partially again just for this and bring out the black coolant and install the OS and do everything to get this computer in check. 
And let's bring out the Maserati mother effing motherboard out for her. The Asus ROG Zenith 2, which goes right here. Look at the space here, man. Wow, that's a nice... What is this right here? What is this? Oh, no. Open the CPU shield and bring out the big guns. Fit the PC, the Threadripper. That's the size of the palm of your hand shield. And then lag. Oh, oh no. Never mind. So that does that. It's kind of interesting how it places down like that. So close that. The shield closes down. And watch this thermal paste. That is huge. All right. Hopefully, this is SLI compatible. Not just simply compatible, but big enough to put these two graphics cards in the mix here. So we got this one. And get ready for this one. Maybe? I saw some green there. Hold on. I mean, it's a pain. Here we go. And she also needs some of that pimped out rainbow cabling. That rainbow effect. And this uses three freaking cables? What? All right, green. Boom, there's your green. Blue, find your blue. So that goes to here. I got an idea. Blue, blue, red, red, yellow, yellow. It's gonna be kind of an interesting effect. So red to red and yellow, that's coming up real soon. Uh, Corsair? Um, wait, what? Did I put a Corsair part in here. So you're telling me I need a legit... Well, that's interesting. Like SSD Corsair. Oh, that's stupid. No RAM. Wow, I'm retarded. In case she didn't like that, bring out the Gigabyte SSD in the mix. Same day delivery. Bring your total down to 450. And ding dong. A little too early, but whatever. Wait, is the cables coming tomorrow since this is a today build? Ah, oh, shoot. Hopefully you're going to bring it back by tomorrow. Or wait, I got an idea. Cables yellow. We should care about braided cables, but make it same day delivery. Let's see. Find out here. Do you care about these? You say yes. Good, good. So SSD must be Corsair, but I did put a Corsair. Do you need like this type of Corsair part like in the back? Like uh, here? Guess so. So we got these four ready to be done. So apply. Uh, That's got to be static, right? Static is a whistle. Oh, wait, that's good enough? What? We sell five car pipes, two for five, two for five, two for five, white cables, but it's not satisfied. What do I need put in, madam? There you go, there you go. Now it's white and that's completed. Good. So redo this, fit some 3D benchmark score in the house, and hopefully this will pass. So this appears to be a 10,000. We got a little bit of work to do here, which we got a pimped out graphics card. CPU wise, we can improve on that. Let's use the 3800X Ryzen, but let's clock this up a little bit when we get that delivered, which is gonna be delivered by tomorrow. So drop total down to 26,767 Boeing. This computer is barely within reach of a 17,677. So we are good to go with this computer. All green to go. So rip the cables out and place this on the bottom here. And this one, we do got to do some altercations and everything because she needs some of that pimped out wallpaper, pimped out lighting, pimped out everything. So let's start off with the basics by getting a yellow part going for two of these here for the case and the fan. Oh no, it's a GPU. And we need two more RGB parts for the 255, 120, 255, and pineapple party wallpaper. And this seems relevant enough. So are you good with this one, madam? Yes, you are. So two more parts, 255, 120. Do we have to put like some RGB fans or somewhere? Let me see. Let's gut this computer out and see what's up. So we can put two RGB fans here for the air cooler and case fans. So let's turn it off and get a tiny air cooler that is RGB and this one RGB for the case fan. So I think I have a case fan that's RGB behind my back, but that's for like these brand new builds. All right, same day delivery, $180 case fan and CPU cooler that are RGB. So 26, 587 dong, and here they are. Replace these two by getting rid of this guy to this guy and this guy to this guy. Throw paste again. And our boy Maltoni goes here with the RGB fan. And lastly, CPU cooler, the cryo rig. The C7 goes here and power. Oh, wow, this looks pimped out. So 120 goes in the middle, 255, middle 255, 120, static X, boom. 
Are we all good to go? Incomplete case. Redo 3D benchmark score again. This was a 13 376 benchmark score. Let's put everything back in and get ready to rip the cables out once we get everything done here where it says, oh, you're good to go. Same score, same everything. And as we rip the cables out right then and there. So while we're at it, since this is a computer that we have troubles with, swap this dusty ass one out and put this on the top here. So double check it. We are good to go with her computer. This one, we still got problems, so she's got to wait and clean out the dust this guy. Remove the side panel, which is kind of weird how you remove the dust by doing that. And <laughs> dust is off. There goes the power supply and boom. How can blowing out the power supply clean out the GPU? That's just stupid. And wait for everything to go. There goes part of motherboard. That and wait for the case to get involved. Wait, done. It's kind of weird how everything just like insta removes all the dust right by just doing that. By getting into the motherboard, everything has to be removed, and hopefully it's got the little property of whomever sign on here, which I think that's what it has on here. So remove that, get rid of the knockers and standoffs, and boom. Put the back panel back on. I don't know why the hell it did that. So we do got the property sign, so that's good. So diagnose the problem, which requires gas mask, another USB drive to install the antivirus system with our boy a virus scanner. And here we go, boom, check out the other computers. So this computer, we got the same benchmark score. So all green there, yes we are. So rip the cables out, places on the bottom. And this computer, you got how many viruses? 322 viruses, no you don't. It's kind of funny, it takes two seconds just to do that. So we are gonna go incomplete case, which means to complete it, slap the side panel back on, rip the cables out and place this on the bottom right because this is not technically our builds and collect our money in the email system. Whoa, that's a different one. This one for $95, nice. So everybody is just finding things in a dumpster. So this, where was it at? Whoa, Ram air core CPU. Ram is a Patriot Viper lead with a C7 cryo rig, which I just had, but that was an RGB variant and CPU 1200 Ryzen. We're like doing too much in this video. So Citroen C7, 30 bucks. Lastly, Patriot 3000. And that's good. Could be over two days. So next day delivery, go on the 2600, a $26,000 mark, man. And let's do a little bit more with Rocket Socks builds. Let's build up and see what we have to do to refine this. So bring out the big guns. It is six core, I think. I think this is the more powerful one, I think. If not, then I learned something new that this is inferior. So 36 versus 27. Let me find this out real quick. So this is inferior. This is superior. So bring out the 2700, which means removing this guy yet again slowly and bring this boy in. And more of that pimped out water cooling. Where do we have to go? In the sky above me, maybe? Because these are all drive bays. So we need to put another tiny, tiny ass reservoir in this here computer again. All right, I got the basics done that computer. So all we need is a reservoir. Got to be completed. I think it's within two days. Yes. Yeah, so two days to go. Next day, 410. Drop it down further. So now start Thursday off. So we got a couple more days to go. Buzz, what is up? So we got another email with an S here. It's almost alive, not anymore. So uh, turns out my mom didn't understand after all. I told her I work in esports, now she thinks I do IT support for esports companies. Ugh. Air cooler, GPU, CPU, PSU, dust tomorrow. Well, we got to check that a little bit. Failed future site. You destroy the CPU and the air cooler and four parts at zero, zero, zero. So my 8700, my crowd rig was basically useless for your ass, girl. So her next day tomorrow, boom. PC emailed you, rawr I did. Rawr. Eight terabytes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we got a 512 gigabyte, 480 or something, 480. So we need boom, 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 boom of all those thingies in there. What are those? Uh, hard drives. So buzz. Um... Be patient real quick. So bring out the big boys. What do we got for size? We need a size of, okay, Matt, okay, first of all, four terabyte, good, one, two, and all that's completed by tomorrow. So next day, 290. And who is this we're talking to? Dream, RGB, four in black. Raw again. 
you know, I've got to open this up. So here are the parts, the cable that I don't need no more, a couple of CPUs, air coolers, RAM, reservoirs, and that is it. So for the reservoirs, so let me double check everything. That is coming up tomorrow. Missing cables. Okay, fan hub, fan, fan, good. Missing pipe. Okay, that is something we can deal a little bit later. Reservoir in the back with the be quiet fan. So, Mr. Fan, be quiet and be loud. All right, here we go. This is a very, very tight fit. Empty loop. Okay. And for the sake of since this is orange, UV, orange, cool. Interesting. So, let's start something simple with the wallpaper. It's, um, war and peace, peace and war, something like that. Let me see here. To peace and love. This seems good enough, right? Yes, it is. Check all lights that are in rainbow colors. So, rainbow. This. Rainbow apply. And do you like that or do you not? You like that. Good. And this is the difficult part. Bring out the 3D benchmark and re do the test for the first time on this computer. And hopefully this comes out in one piece. So while that's going, while that's going to fail, let's just work on this computer. Multitask over here. So RAM, air, seep. Cryo rig, goodbye. The CPU also has to go goodbye. The quad core regular one right here, 1200 goes there. With the thermal paste, close this down. And sell this on eBay for zero dollars. Why play the kachang noise while it's dead? Where is Patriot? One dollar on eBay. And put this guy in. And there we go. Boot to OS. Let's find out. So incomplete case, side panel. So we're all good to go. Get ready to uh, rip it out. And go. Barely had to play the freaking boot up song just for that. So all green air. So let's just not necessarily speed run this to collect the money. So, whoa, I got paid $580. Not bad. Let's accept this for the heck of it. So air cooler will R1. The GPU is a gigabyte 2070. It's a beefy GPU from like a year and a half ago. And a 7700 regular or K. It's a K CPU if I'm my boy Intel. And an Antec 850 power supply. So 850 Antec high current gamer. So it got to be completed by tomorrow, including uh, cleaning out the dust. So next day delivery, drop it down to $24,000. And this is a fail. Ooh, pretty close. We can get away with some tuning. So we do got that still installed. So we'll go to GPU tuner. And let's first of all do this real quick by let's get to the BIOS here. Hold delete and let's pimp out the CPU and then the GPU would be next. So overclock the CPU. Let's first ratio this dude on Twitter for five and 101. So four, 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 four. It should be okay. Apply. Yes. And let this boot up and let's run 3D benchmark raw with just the CPU in check. So CPU is good. The answer is it's doing okay. Uh, uh, we're dropping. Mom, we're dropping. I think I screwed up somewhere. So hold on. Run the OCCT benchmark because that shouldn't do that. Am I like overly stressing the CPU out? Which I think that's what I'm doing. Hold on. Let's, let's delete that. Um, What is that? The, um, the base clock. Delete the base clock. 4400 it is. And apply. Because that should just drop and drop and drop and drop. That tells you the CPU is going to die. So let's run a simple OCCT before we proceed with the rest of the overclocking. Because this is considering how you're testing. Okay, 8, 9, 95 degrees Celsius. Jesus. And 2, it's kind of fluctuating here and there. It's like going around 94, 95. Wait, throttled. Oh no, we're throttling. So no overclocking with the CPU? Shoot. So I think the ratio only goes by one. Just ratio the dude once, not twice. All right, is this acceptable? Let's find out. A single ratio. So we're hovering around 90 to 91 degrees Celsius. That is like hot. We can burn your balls right off. So it appears we got no throttling whatsoever. So we're good to go to go further in our testing or our overclocking. So 103. And let's up this up by 1900. The memory clock could go up to 2000, zero, zero, party at a time. Here we go. Please don't die on me right now. Please. And I think this one we have to, well, first of all, drain the bad boy and put a, another better CPU in this thing. I think this was a 3800X, right? 
Yeah, so bring out the... Uh, wait, wait. Let me see the difference between the two. So, 8-core, 400 more megahertz. This ain't gonna be a big difference, I don't think. It's gonna be pretty much small and noticeable where I have to, like... What do we got here? We got the TI graphics card. So, I have my concerns on this one. Bring out the piping, and let's just do this real quick. And boost screen to death. Whoa, so... Derp. Bitty derp. Maybe one more on the core voltage, maybe? Let's see. 104. Oh, CCT, so GPU, watch the GPU just explode, ramp up, but up, but up, but up, but up, and then just die, watch, watch. 70 degrees Celsius, 92 to 91 right here. So CPU, we're overclocked by six tenths of a percent. So that succeeded. 3D benchmark score, let's see how this comes out. If not, then I have to do something to pimp this out a little bit, like get a slightly better CPU, like get the 3800, like um, this computer has in there, right? So the 2700X is this computer, that's a 3800X. If I were to compare this with the part ranking with 2700X versus 38, it's a kind of a yay difference. If that fails, we'll bring out the 3800X CPU in the mix. So coming up to the last few seconds here, so we got a 16117. Let's find out the score here, it's, it's gonna be a little bit dramatic, lower it. Or 5.30, so pimp out the CPU, pimp my seep. And it's gotta be completed by tomorrow, just to verify. Is it a tomorrow build? Yes it is, so let's bring it by tomorrow, go to the shop. And tomorrow, 4.30, still 24,000. So this is a 10, 2, 20, uh, five, 300 more. Uh, I'm gonna try TI in it, and no, no, SLI in it, I meant. So this is a 750. So let me SLI it by getting another TI graphics card. So let me double check this out. So it's a 2080 TI by Zotac, an Arctic Storm. So if I just search up Arctic Storm, there we go. One more. We by tomorrow. Next day delivery, $22,000. I mean, we got plenty of money here, but this is somewhat concerning here. So hopefully a new CPU will pimp out this boy up to increase our scores. So let's shut this boy off. And a TI graphics card in an SLI format to pimp this out even further. And this one to fix this up. And the other one won't fix that one up. So go out on our final day before we get to our finals match by starting off Friday off.